Hey guys, welcome back and look what I got. Um, I received this awesome mold from Julie Cuts um, a week ago, roughly a week ago, yes. And I'm testing it for the very first time and I want to do this marble look um, pour which she has done recently because I think it's very awesome. Um, yeah, let me see that I get some dust out. There's always something flying around here. Um, I got my handles. Unfortunately, I didn't get them in gold, but I will place them here. And I will be using also these um, I'm not sure if this is Krylon, but um, in a DIY shop in Germany, they said it's for resin, so I trusted them. Anyway, let's get started. First, I mix my colors. I go with um, two, two half cups for the white. Put my clear in, also here, and let's say a third of the cup for my grey. And the rest of the resin I put in here, and totally I mixed up um, almost 800 grams of resin and I will see how far I'm going to get there. This is now for my clear. Let me get some baby wipes. My resin is sitting for um, 15 minutes because I needed to prepare everything. So I hope this is going to be okay. Um, yeah, let me get the rest of the resin out. So. so that will be another big chunk of resin because I'm sure I'm going to need it. So, um, colors. I'm using the Amsterdam. And I just pop, um, yeah, how much, this much in one of these, and I'm going to take another one. It's hard to measure this in this one. And then a little bit less for my grey. We go with this. I will see how this will turn out. I want it to be rather opaque. Mix this up. Yeah, it's already looking good. Mix this good up. I hope everyone is fine. The weather here in Belgium today is not so good. It's been quite stormy. This is also okay. And it's a day where you just stay home, do your hobby or other nice things. And yeah, just enjoy yourself. Monday is working time again, so everything is fine. This is 
okay. Um, I'm going with three drops of the um, pinata in my white. start with I'm gonna put two drops of the alcohol ink or, or now I go with one drop in black for my gray I think that can be one more drop in there. Yeah, four. So, yeah, this is better, I guess. What do you think, guys? Um, yeah, get this mixed in. There's again things in my mold from the paint, it's always the same. to, to um, work in this um, mold so I will see how it will go I'm starting with the white and I'm just going along with this it's first time I'm, I'm, I'm using this uh, style of mold so I'm very curious how this is gonna turn out this also there I need to mix up some more white I guess but I can do this in a bit and just get this all in here for now. Also this now I'm gonna go further with the grey. Just a little bit, not too much. a little bit now I go further with the clear to break up a little bit the grey go again with some white just again the stick 
Cool. Three drops of the pinata. I find that the piñata I pull, it has a strange smell. I don't know how you think, guys, but I find it like this. So, it's nice look. I'm sorry that I take my time with mixing up and everything, but um, I cannot always stop the video. If you, if you are a little bit fed up with this, just... Um, Fast forward, I don't mind, this is not the worst thing that you can do. <laughs> I can understand this because mixing colors, it gets boring to watch after a while. Also need to um, torch a little bit. Getting on. A little bit more of the gray also here and here for the others I think it's it's enough let me get my torch before I Put some more clear there. I think I also have to pop some sticks under my covered canvases. They're actually those paper or thick paper canvases which I'm sometimes using when I want to test something for acrylic pouring. They are my underground for these pores. always the same when you do this afterwards you have to be careful not that I have too much resin spread it I guess this is better yeah let me put some more clear in here I guess I have to keep on um, torching this because the bubbles are still coming up I think this is really an awesome mold and I'm so so curious how this is going to turn out. I mean a lot of you guys maybe um, use these um, sort of, yeah, you have enough um, molds already. For me it's really the first time. Let me just get my big boy and get this mix in a little bit without overflowing it. So it's very really nice. Uh 
have to be very careful, especially with the last one here. Some of the coasters can still have some clear, I think. Go just in there. Also, a little bit. This beacon can have a little bit. This one. This one is rather full and this one is sorted yeah i mixed up a little bit too much resin but i think it's gonna be this is gonna overflow which maybe i need to put a stick also here to lift this a little bit so it can run a little bit to the side Yeah, I'm using my big boy again, but on lower, see what I can do. It's a little bit gen more gentle. But what do you think guys? Does this look marble? I have no idea. Can only say I I think I like it. Marble has this grey in there, and uh, it also has not always the perfect um, yeah. pattern, I say. So I guess I'm gonna leave it like this for now before I let it rest. Maybe when I um, finish this video, um, for now I, I clean the edges a little bit up, but I think I'm about sorted. Maybe this big tray can you have a little bit more, but I think, no, I leave it. I leave it like this. Give it a little torch and then I take it down for a close up. Don't like this bit too much here. Not sure if I didn't mix it too good. Hmm. Never mind. Never mind. I have to live with this now. It's sent made, guys. And I 
guess I have to keep on torching this later. But I'm gonna take you down for a close up. But I really like it so far. Um, yeah. So, look at this. What do you think, guys? Does it look like marble? Doesn't it? I like this effect. And also here. So I will see how it's going to be looking in, let's say, half an hour, because um, then I will be placing my um, handles. Okay, see you then. Bye. Hello back, guys. Um, yeah, um, it's now half an hour later. And my resin I, is already a little bit sticky. I put a, a stick in there, just a little too thick, very carefully. And it really is like chewing gum. So I think I can place my handles. So fingers crossed. <sighs> it's always, uh, I need to jump, you know, when I have such a big um, piece. I have to jump on, on the table to get the camera sorted. Uh, not on the table, on, on the chair, sorry. Hey, so I wonder how this will go. Um, yeah, I'm just doing it very carefully. I think this is okay and see if I can place this one in a similar way. Are they the same? Maybe this needs to move a tiny bit over here. So These can now, yep. Oh, there's an air bubble. Let me, there's my stick. Maybe I can pop it. I guess because there's a sort of gap underneath. Yeah, this is not what you should do, Petra, but it's maybe you should just go with your torch and also I need to watch this around yeah but what do you think I think it's looking fine so far mm. yeah I like it Um, I'm not sure if I can already apply the gold. Hmm. Shall I try to do it at a tiny inky bit of the corner or no, let me wait a little bit. Maybe it's better to wait. Okie dokie. See you later. Bye for now. Hi guys, I actually tried it on, on this one and I think um, I can go for the whole lot. Um, I do this maybe with one or two filming it, otherwise I think the video is getting too long. So yeah, please bear with me. See you soon. Okay, back again. I don't know what this is with this handle. It always goes back to the wrong position. 
and I have no idea why I need to watch this. Hmm. Anyway, um, yes, I sprayed a little bit into this cup of this gold and now I'm trying to make these thin lines. I don't want them to be too thick. And I hope I'm gonna succeed with this. Also going a little bit out the way. It's not so easy. <laughs> it looks easy, but it certainly not easy at all. Hope the lines are not going to be too thick. See, it's. Oi! Oh, lucky me, it's going back again. No idea why. Hmm. This was lucky with my stick, huh? I also don't want to to add too much gold. So I will see how this will look in. I guess this is already enough for me. Oh, there's a troublemaker outside who wants to come in. No, not at the moment. My dear, it's a little bit thicker. Hmm, it's not meant to be so thick. Maybe I can loose a little bit. And then fill it a tiny bit. Actually, um, um, I've watched a little bit of the video I did. I think this looks much darker on the video than it actually is, which is a pity. Don't know why. Maybe because of um, the um, background, but the, again, But the, um, this one is staying actually, no idea. Maybe um, because the gray is, is in the depths and when the camera is focusing on, maybe that's why I have no idea. So let me go with one more and then I will just continue by myself and show you the video once it's done. Yeah, Bagheera, you troublemaker. He was getting at me the other day. Don't know why. Gets maybe mood, maybe asking for attention. Yeah, you drag the resin a little bit. But I guess this is normal, I hope. So, oops. Hmm. Maybe I'll just go a little bit more here. Like the resin a little bit, so the lines are thinner. Okay, um, I stop this video now, and yeah, I see you. So back again, guys. Um, 
Yes, I applied the gold. I didn't overdo it because I think, um, yeah, I like it more when it's a little bit less. Um, yeah, I wonder what you think. And I don't know still so why it looks on, on the video much darker than it is in real. Anyway, um, what I wanted to show you also, this, um, this here, is a test piece I've done yesterday. Look at the lines, they're much thicker and uh, yeah, this is just, um, yeah, mixing the colors very wild. And, and I think you can already see a difference um, in my work. Well, I hope so. So the handle here kept moving, but I think let me have a look. It's now settling also. So I now put my little cups here. And great idea of you, Julie Cuts. I put a big canvas over this and I will see. Okay. See you later. Or see you tomorrow for the unmolding. Take care and have a great Sunday. Bye bye. Hello everyone. Um, I'm just between demolding and cooking. Um, yeah, according to the season, I'm cooking a pumpkin soup. Anyway, um, yeah, let me quickly demold this so it's done. Um, the only thing I changed yesterday and which I haven't um, videoed is I put a food safe layer on top of the tray. Not the coasters, but the tray. So, okie dokie, let's do it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have so much space today, so I hope you don't mind that the view is a little bit limited. I'm really curious, but look, wow, it goes easy out. It's also very nice mold. I have a little lip here, but I overflowed it a bit. But look at this. I hope it looks marble. Yeah, there I also need to take something off. I do this all while I um, continuing with um, the coasters because I will paint them either <clears throat> um, with one of those pens. I have um, a shiny gold. I have from from what is this uni paint from adding. I have something in gold, but I also have some enamels color in gold which i at the moment prefer with this also with the handle but i will see um i won't tape um or i won't make a video about me um painting the edges but i'm certainly gonna show you the end result so let me put this here um yeah let's get to the next one look at this i am quite happy with um, my gold here because the lines are thin and they are a little bit broken up and not perfect because i think it's better also here i have something i need to um, get off I was really overflowing a little bit, but look at the back. I mean, the back also looks sort of marvel, maybe even more. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe um, for the next time I should be waiting, but then I have a problem with the handles. But I like it. I put this next to me on, on a canvas. So get the next one out. 
Yeah, there's always a tiny lip. Because I didn't I didn't dome them. It needs to have a little little sanding, but this will be fine. Yeah. I really wonder what you think guys. Now I'm continuing here. But this mold is it's also very awesome. I mean it's really worth paying a little bit more money and and you see um how easy these um coasters are getting out of the mold. You don't have to do much. They are practically springing out at you. This is actually where well, I have a little bit on the top and I don't know what this is. It's like, like, hmm, not little bubbles, but a sort of sprinkling, but I guess I cannot avoid this. I torched always during um, during the drying process, but well, it's I always say it's handmade. It's not um, from a machine. So yeah, here I also need to send. I see this already to see that I get this off carefully, maybe with a little scissor yeah and get this sanded but I I really like it I really like it a lot and once I've done my edges which may take quite a while because I don't always have the time um, then I'm gonna um, post a picture at the page from Julie Katz this pouring your heart out. See what this is doing. Wow, it's so easy. Look, you don't have to do much. The handles are quite, you just, yeah. And even though the handle was always going you know here outside it's still all right it, it went still a little bit i couldn't avoid it but i think it's all right let's have a look at the back i i, I somehow i like the back more it's really like marble the back but also this looks good this looks very good I put this into the middle here and let me sort them before I show you how they are looking. Take this away and voila, have a look. What do you think guys? Do you like it? I really like it a lot. Like I said, this has a food safe layer on top. So um, you can serve some cheese, some fruits, some pralines, whatever. And these are the coasters. I'm quite happy. It's the first time I'm doing such a big mold. First time I'm doing a tray. Might not be 100% perfect. I have no idea. But I'm really happy with this. Okay. I love and leave you and see you the next time. Take care. Bye bye.